Hey, Matt Fitzgerald here, co-head coach of 8020 Endurance. In today's video, I want to talk about the importance of training in cycles as an endurance athlete. One of the most common mistakes that endurance athletes make is trying to keep the momentum going after a big race. It's an understandable temptation. You've worked hard for many weeks and attained a high level of fitness. And whether the big race goes well or poorly, it's natural to want to keep training hard and get even fitter. But in fact, it's a terrible idea. The human body just isn't designed to keep getting fitter and fitter without interruption. Just as the mighty oak tree is the cumulative result of many years of growth during only certain seasons, endurance athletes must balance periods of hard work and periods of regeneration to maximize their long-term fitness development. If you want to be a fitter athlete next year than you are this year, the best thing you can do after a big race is sharply reduce your training for a few weeks and intentionally give away some of your hard-earned fitness. I know it's counterintuitive. The idea that getting less fit now will set you up to get fitter later, but it absolutely will. That's because you're getting something back in return for the fitness you sacrifice in this regenerative period between training cycles. A renewed freshness of body and mind that will enable you to train a little harder in the next cycle than you did in the last and attain a higher fitness peak at the end. Obviously, you don't want to give away too much fitness during these regenerative periods. As long as you start the next training cycle with at least as much fitness as you had at the start of the last one and feel fresh and ready, you will indeed reach a new level in your athletic development. To learn more about how to train effectively in training cycles, check out our books, 8020 Running and 8020 Triathlon, and visit 8020endurance.com.